Welcome back to this day. Joining me now from Pro Jury Services is Director Rachel Halper and also trial attorney Jessica Sauber. Welcome, ladies. So Thank nice you. to meet you. Nice Thank you for being you. here today. Thank you for having yes. us. So tell me, you know, first off, what is Pro Jury Services? I've never heard of this before. Yes. So Pro Jury Services is a company that facilitates mock trials, focus groups for attorneys here in Southern California. Um, we have a, f a facility here in the area, which is a full-scale mock courtroom. So it's a fully realistic courtroom. Um, it mimics the real thing. It has all the features. It has an audience section, a jury box section for 12 jurors, and it has a judge's bench. Everything like that really mimics a real courtroom. It's amazing. It's an incredible resource. Wow. And so is there a, a judge that sits in on it as well? We will often have judges. So um, we, we host these mock trials and focus groups in the courtroom um, multiple times a week. And we often have judges. We'll have witnesses come up. Um, it basically mimics a real courtroom setting. So attorneys can get the full experience um, of practicing before they go and, and do the real thing. So a mock jury then, so it's not a real court case that's, that's in, the, in the law, but it's, it's like that and a mock jur jury is just, you know, being like, so attorneys can see how. Exactly, so how it, it, we actually have, <laughs> we usually have real court, like real cases. So our attorneys will come in and they'll present their real facts, their real cases. They'll oftentimes change people's names because you want to keep that confidential and private. But it's all real. So everything that they're presenting is real, and we have real jurors, which is why I'm here today with you, because I'm looking for more real jurors and more people who are interested in being part of this very important process. Um, so yeah, everything is is fully realistic. It's it's a very important, very important tool for yeah. for lawyers. Jessica, for you as an attorney, have you used their service before? I've actually gotten the opportunity to use it many times. And it, I mean, it's just been an incredible resource um, for us to be able to try out uh, new strategies and get actually live witnesses to come in. We'll actually have our clients come in and sit up there in the witness stand and we'll be able to you know, give, um, give a direct examination. And it's just been really invaluable for us. Um, last year, we had a highly publicized trial in October, and we did 12 mock trials ahead of time so that we could try to test out some new strategies. And it's, it's fun for the jurors because it cuts out all of the, the extra time and waiting around of a real trial, and it really gets to the fun part of it. Okay, that makes so much sense. And then does this help you as well, like how the mock jury how they respond, does then that help you to when you're at picking the real jury? Absolutely. So when we do these mock trials, we actually will have the jury, uh, the, the jurors fill out surveys and we'll get feedback and it's so valuable for us, whether it's negative or it's positive, it really helps us to hone in on our skills, find out what works and what doesn't. Okay, yeah, definitely makes sense how that could be a valuable resource. Do you find that, um, so is it something then that it's not necessarily just for a beginner attorney? I mean, it's something that is used for all attorneys at all stages, no matter how seasoned you are? Oh, for sure. Absolutely. I mean, anyone can benefit, any lawyer can benefit from this. Think about it like this. A professional basketball player practices on a real basketball court, right? They're not <laughs> practicing in the park anymore. So it's kind of the same idea. Lawyers are going, trial lawyers are going up in front of a jury and a judge, and oftentimes their community. And it can be a little, you know, nerve wracking. And practice is super important to be able to connect with people, to be able to present yourself in a way that's relatable and, and understandable, and to get comfortable in the courtroom. So what we do is we provide that, that full scale basketball court for them to professionally practice on. We provide that space for them, and, and I mean, you're, you're like a total example of, of an amazing, like how it's worked so well for us. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, that definitely makes sense. So tell me, how does someone become a mock juror? Yeah, so you can sign up on our website, projuryservices.com. Um, you can also give us a call, 844-PRO-JURY. Um, the number I think is on the screen, it spells out pro-jury. 
Um, so you can give us a call. You can fill out the form on the website. When you do go on the website, you will be asked to complete a brief survey. This collects some demographic information about the juror so that we can best match you to the right trial and the right case. Um, and it's important for the lawyers to have the demographic information about our jurors. So it's pretty easy to sign up. We uh, usually do a handful of these per week. So we have a lot of opportunities. Um, these are not real trials in the sense that they're not weeks long. These are a day, maybe a half day at most, um, and they're all compensated. So your time is compensated. That does vary based on the amount of hours. And you have refreshments, you have coffee, sometimes lunch is provided. That's wonderful. And so if you are if you get selected to be a, a person on the mock jury, is that the only time you can do it, or can you come back and, and do it again? Yeah, you can definitely come back and do it again. Um, once you sign up, you're kind of put into our sort of like pool of jurors. And depending on the case, we can select you. If you're available, we'll, we'll reach out to you, see if you're free, see if you're interested, if you want to join us. It's a really fun thing to do. We actually have had a lot of <clears throat> jurors stay in touch with us. Um, and follow up on cases and see what the lawyers are up to, what they're doing, where, like, are they going to trial yet? Even sometimes they send us, like, articles or interesting things they found. So people get really invested, and, yeah. and it's actually really, really, really rewarding in that sense. Oh, how, how interesting. Yeah, yeah, how fun. And so um, what would you say... Um, what, or what type of cases do you do, or what type of, like, what runs the gamut for all, you know, yeah. the interest of the cases you're yeah. mocking? So we've, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we've had a variety of cases. We've had everything from catastrophic injury, auto accidents. We've had employment cases, wrongful termination. We've had personal injury cases, trip and fall. Um, it really, anything that you can take to court, we can test it out um, in our, in our, using oh, okay. our facilities, yeah. So it's, it's very interesting because if you do come as a juror, you're never going to get the same thing twice. It's like one day you're going to have this experience, and then you come back a couple months later, and it's going to be a totally different experience with totally different lawyers and a totally different kind of you know situation. Now, do you select, once people have filled out the application form and, and the you know intake information, do you select the jurors, like how it might get selected in the real court case? Yeah, that's a great question. Actually, it depends. So our lawyers will come to us and they'll say, this is our case, this is sort of like what we're looking for, and this is kind of what we're, we want as jurors. Sometimes they want the exact demographic of the location that they're in. Um, and sometimes they want to try people who might be against them or for them. So it really depends on what they're looking for. But I know it's been really valuable to sometimes have jurors that might not be on your side and see what works for them, what doesn't, and they give really good feedback too. Yeah, that was not something I had considered. If, if you as an attorney is purposefully saying, I want somebody who's going to be resistant to my client that I'm you know, serving. So how has that worked for you? Have you used it in that format? Absolutely. So we've used it in the sense of getting those jurors that we would anticipate would actually vote against us. And we've gotten their feedback and tried to figure out how we can overcome some of the hurdles or obstacles that we might have in a case. That's wonderful. What a great what a great service to have. Yeah. I had no idea there was something like that out <laughs> yeah. there. So there's actually not many services like this out there, which is why we're you know trying to push really hard to get it to be more well known. Yeah. Um, one other thing I did want to add that's really fun about being a juror is the del deliberation. So oftentimes at the end of the whole like mock trial or focus group. The jurors will go into a deliberation room and deliberate like in a real trial. Okay. They'll fill out a verdict form, and that's always really fun because, I mean, the jurors connect a lot during that as well. They'll come out, and the attorneys will usually have a Q and A with them, and then they get into it. Like they are, everyone's super honest, super open, and we've even had moments where a juror brought up a point that none of the attorneys ever even considered, wow. and it's like a light bulb goes off. Yeah. And I've seen it. I, I think we've experienced it with you, maybe. And that's always an, an awesome moment as well. Now, is there a judge at the end or whatever that says, OK, you, you won your case or you didn't? Yeah, <laughs> do, yeah. Do they find out that? Yeah, yeah. The judge will read the verdict form. So okay. the verdict form will say whatever the jurors decided on. It'll say whether they were against us, for us, what, for the, the lawyers, yeah. how much money they awarded or, or not. Um, 
And sometimes it doesn't go in the favor of the attorneys, right. which honestly I think is, is, uh, is helpful. It's a learning experience for them. Um, but yeah, the judge will read it. The judge wears a robe. It's very legit. It's very realistic. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. That's great. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, I thank you it. for having thank us. You. If you would like to be a juror for one of these mock trials, please uh, go online and check out projuryservices.com or give them a call at 1-844-776-5879. Stay with us. We'll have more of this day right after this.